Alrighty. If you guys are watching this video, it means that you guys want to see what's the ownership like of a Ducati Monster 696 2012. Well, and all the 696 models. Let's get started. Alright, for all those that uh, want, want to get a Ducati, uh, this was my first Ducati. Um, and I love it. I freaking love this bike. I think it has all the good aspects of um, of a naked bike. Very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Especially it performs great in the streets and also in the highway. I'll talk to you about the pros and cons of this bike in just a minute. Alrighty, here we go. The bike has power, boys. Oh yes. Well, I, very, I hope that the wind isn't as bad as I think it is. I'm just gonna do my best for the wind to be our friend and not our enemy. All right, this bike has 696 CC. It's a 700 bike. It's a very good naked bike. I love the grills of it. I'll show you in a bit. This bike is a six speed manual, of course. And well, this bike, it's not for a beginner. I believe that's the way it is. Some people say that it is. It depends on the weight of the of the person. I'm 6'2", and I'm, I weigh 160 pounds. I'm a skinny guy, but... Well, this was my second bike. My first bike was a Yamaha R3, and I loved it. I loved it. I also love this bike. This is a great bike. Ba great second bike, if you know what I mean. Um, a very upgrade. It has This bike has... 60 horsepower if, I, if I'm not mistaken and the R3 had like a 30 something horsepower also uh, what else um, bike has 9,700 miles in total I have put probably 700 miles on it 761 around that and well everything's great about the bike I'm gonna tell you all the little uh, upgrades that I've done to the bike so far I got the clutch and brake levers Come on, come on. There we go. Got the brake and clutch levers on this. I also put the blacked out windscreen on it. This usually comes uh, clear. I didn't want it to be clear. I wanted it to be black so it matches with the with the tank. As you can hear by the sound of the of the bike, I put some nice exhaust on this. It's the it's called anodizing exhaust. I love them. They're very good. I mean, they get the job done. Very good, very comfortable. Uh, what else we got? We have the front LED highlights and headlights. The rear fender eliminator, so it doesn't have the little tail that nobody likes. What else we got? Um, and I think that's about it. I don't think I put too much to it. I got a service in Ducati, got everything cleared out. Bike feels like new, to be honest with you. We're gonna take the, the highway in just a second just to show you guys how powerful this thing could be if you really wanted to. Uh, it's just a matter of how you handle it. I think that's it. Oh, what else can I tell you guys about this bike? Uh, well, dashboard's pretty normal. It's digital. We don't have a analog needle to show, you, to show us the RPM. But oh well. It gets the job done. It has a bunch of little features. You can turn off ABS. Um, it shows battery indicator. You can do uh, lap time. A little stuff here. I don't think you can control the traction control. I'm not sure if you can, but not that I'm aware of. The engine braking on this bike is amazing, boys. You guys will love it. If you're planning on getting a, uh, one of these bikes, well, just let me tell you that this bike likes to run hot. But besides that, it's I mean it's very good. I also usually keep it on on highlights. I don't know. I feel like people will see me more. All right. The mirrors. I don't like the mirrors on this bike to be honest with you. The mirrors are very shaky. Very not high quality material. You won't be able to see anything here. I really hope the wind 
will not be our problem, boys. I really hope. Believe me, I want the best for this. Not sure how I'm gonna have to position the the mic for my voice to be sound a little better. But I'll do my best. Let me hop into the highway, boys, so I can show you what's this thing real about. Audio, so you guys hear a little bit. Let me turn it off for a minute. Get a rest. So yeah, well, this is this is the bike, boys. This is the my. It's not my daily driver, but it's the one I have fun with on the weekends. It's great, man. I freaking love this bike. This. I've been always a fan of Ducati, so like look this is the led let me turn them off because i don't want the battery to drain all right so yeah i got brembo brakes on the back as well right rear and back yes correct uh what else do we have we have um the solo key seat cover i usually this is a little this is how i got it from a previous owner it was um with a little damage i don't know why and i love the thing the disc because i actually just take them off like this i just twist them and I got space for the passenger. I don't usually tie them with the little the screwdriver, the little uh, wrench that it comes with, because I want to just take it out with my hand so it's easier. I love the spring on the back, that yellow spring that adds a, a, a Ducati touch to it. What else we have? Um, oh, I also painted this thing here. This usually comes in chrome, well, like this color, and I painted it black. As you can see, we have like little, little leftovers there that I wouldn't paint. I ordered this windshield black as well because the one that it comes with is clear and well yeah well that's about it the levers are great uh, they all work let me show you the back of it on the back we have 160 uh, width tire which is very good I, I love it because it matches with the bike so good I love how the, um, the exhaust um, fit there oh shoot I just realized that I'm missing a bolt here probably lost it uh what else well this is not real carbon fiber of course not for 150 bucks what do you expect it's just a little just a little um, to show off basically but they look very nice not gonna lie and there look some uh, slip-ons so that's great also i love this bike i mean once again it's an intermediate bike i said good torquey very torquey um but it's very comfortable that's why i love it uh, the only problem with it it's the wind and yeah and let's go back into the city yeah if you're running this bike in, in the city this thing is hot once again boys it will burn you boys well not like burn you but you will feel it in your in your in your thighs Hopping into the highway. Hopefully the, the wind is not as bad as I think it is. I really, I really want you guys to to know that if the audio is pretty bad, it's just because this bike has very bad um, connection with the wind. If you know what I'm saying. All right, let me fix my shirt because my shirt is lifting right now. There we go. Way better. All right, so as you guys can see, I'm cruising at 60 miles per hour on the highway. Very good. Mostly the wind that I'm getting from here, it's very bad. This little windshield helps, but just not as much as you think it does. Um, if you want to go fast, you have to really, really tuck in there to get the speeds that you want. All right, now let me show you how the bike behaves at high speeds. Job done man like 
I love how agile this bike is and how it feels. Like you feel like you can go through anything. Alright, let's go through here boys. Whoa man, nothing just happened. There we go. I apologize for the audio. Sorry, I have to say multiple times. But for some reason with this helmet on, the audio is not as good as I, I really wanted it to be. It has a really like a big gap from the helmet to my chin. So there's a lot of wind coming into there. Hopefully I can fix it and get uh, some noise reduction. What a beautiful day boys. A little cloudy but nice day to be outside. So yeah, the bike behaved very good in the highway. All good. Powerful when you need it to be. Oh, we got a little turn here boys. Let's call her in our name. Back into the city, boys. Gotta put the clutch in, boys, for you guys to hear me a little better. Yeah, the exhaust is pretty loud on this thing. good that's good that's what we want we want to be in control of the power at all time when you want to be chilling just cruising it's like all right I'm good I'm cruising uh, I don't know if I if I said this already but the bikes air cooled so this bike run, likes to run hot especially on on, on red lights and, and all that stuff like when you're standing still get a lot of heat from the from the side of the of the bike but besides that it's very good I mean I freaking love this bike nice sporty but at the same time comfortable which that's what I'm looking for to upgrade in the future and that's all we want right nice little upgrades I'm gonna miss you I'm gonna miss you this bike doesn't sell by the way so if next video I don't have this bike well I have probably sold it. Nice engine brake. Alright boys, we have made it. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, share it with your friends. I freaking love this bike, boys. This is the Ducati Monster 696 ABS 2012. Thanks for watching.